Since I've been back at my home church. Bless you, Brother Christ. Church, doctrine is where we have to stand with the Lord. Matter of fact, the Bible says that the Scripture is profitable Amen. for doctrine. Amen. And we are losing that today. Amen. God help us if we would get in His Word and get grounded in the doctrine that the Bible says that the faith that was once delivered to the Son. Amen. Amen. Yes. That's right. And I have enjoyed myself. Yeah. I praise God. And I, I told Brother Jonathan, I said, he, uh, Brother Zach, you got over there on some scriptures. It's been on our heart coming this way. And I, I, I just closed my Bible and sitting there reading because I just want you just to go on and, and the Lord fills you up. And I'll be honest with you, brethren, I, I have enjoyed myself so much tonight. Bless I can leave you. right now and just say praise the Lord. What a blessing to be in the Lord. Lord's house, hear his word taught, right. and to have his name praised. And brethren, if y'all got anything on your heart, you, you just follow the Lord. I, God bless I, I you, nothing, Chris. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to conduct a service. Bless I don't you, know how to Lord. save. I don't know how to preach. All I know to do is just to say, Lord, here I am. Amen. 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 Bless Amen. Bless you, Excuse me. Yeah. And I tell you what, and I know I am the least of the least, and I don't oh, count bless. myself as anything standing before you tonight other than just a vessel. And I pray that you would <laughs> earnestly Bow your heart. You might not bow your head right now, but in your heart, if you would lift us up in prayer. Bless you, Lord. I didn't come this way to say anything other than what's on our heart. And yeah. may God be praised tonight. And I tell you, if you don't know him, and the free part of sin, don't walk out the doors tonight. Thank yes, you. sir. I tell you what, I thank God for the call to salvation, and I thank him for this call he's given us. What a burden. I tell you what. Bless you, Lord. I, I tell you, I, I had to hug my pastor's neck. I said, Brother Andy, I hadn't appreciated you enough like I should. I tell you what, till you get up behind the old buckboard here and try to preach the Lord's Amen. word, and then you know what the old man of God goes through. Bless you. Say what, church? Stay behind your pastor. Amen. Stay behind these men. Here Bless you, Brother Chris. And preach and teach. I tell you what, we've got, we've got to stay grounded on God's Amen. word. We've got uh, to uh, draw closer to one another. Yes, sir. Draw closer to him. You pray for me. Uh, We'll just give you what's on our heart tonight and uh, pray the Lord be in it. And uh, if you want to be turning over to the book of Genesis, uh, we've got a verse there we'd love to read and hear it. And then we're going to go over to Romans chapter 10. God help you. And uh, maybe if the Lord leads a few other places from there. But you just pray that there'd be something here tonight that would lodge in your heart. Whether it be you, if you've heard, if the Lord opens your heart tonight to be saved, don't turn him away. If the Lord offers something here for you to, to gain strength from, uh, certainly uh, let your heart be open to that. Because uh, the Lord desires to strengthen and be with his people. Yes, sir. Lord, we listen to word of prayer before we go to God. Lord and Master, we thank you, God, for such a, a wonderful Lord today. You've made all God. God help us. I pray, Lord, we come for you now. Lord, you bless the busy of your people, Lord God. Yes, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that you look into the depths of your word, God, yes, that you might just bless somebody way, Lord. I pray that you be in our midst. And God, I pray for you, Heavenly Father, that you might put words in the hearts and lives of every person here with us today. Uh, God, Lord, those that might be saved, Lord, those that might be uh, lost, Lord, whatever. God, Lord. Those that might be discouraged, Lord, whatever the case might be, oh God, you know every one of us, God, you know where we stand before you. God, we just bow our hearts to you and ask you, Lord, that you bless us right away. Uh, Lord, just give us the strength that we need to stand, Lord, look at the lips of the word. God, whatever it might be here tonight, Lord, for us, we praise you and thank you not only for God. Help Lord to request this church here, Lord, yes. their community. Lord, the desires on their heart, Lord, and I pray you bless and be with us. The Lord, there at our home church, Lord, and the other places that we've been visiting, Lord, I pray, Lord, you just continue to work through yes, the Lord. Be with us, Lord, strengthen us and help us. And God, you know our shortcomings and prayers. We ask you to be with us, be with us and those, Lord, and help us, Lord. We praise you and thank you for all things in Christ's name, Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you. The scripture here in the third chapter, excuse me, the fourth chapter of the book of Genesis, it means something because of, from
from the time that the Lord uh, made man and, and then put him in a garden and, and gave him away to walk and follow. As a matter of fact, God made man to glorify him. It's already been said tonight. Yes, sir. We're the one thing he made that just chooses to turn against him. And, and God made man there to glorify him. And God made man, put him in the garden uh, to walk with him and to talk with him. And he come along there after man had sinned. He said, Adam, where art thou? Yeah. And I tell you what, I'm glad the Lord's still searching for him. He, he's a, he's a seeking Savior. Yes, yes, sir. And I tell you what, he, he's still looking for you tonight. If, if, if he's come your way, he's saying, where are you? And I tell you Amen. what, since I've been saved, he's had to come by me and say, where are you at? Amen. Where are you at? Yeah. Where are you standing? Yeah. Because I tell you what, we can get off to the right or to the left Amen. in time, and the Lord still knows right where we stand. But but this verse that we want to read to you, really, that, that carries us back over to the book of Romans, good Lord willing, and it, it's just something that, that we felt to read, and, and, and it, it just sets our mind and our heart on how good God is that he has allowed us not only did he call on us, did he call on Adam and say, Adam, where are you? And when he discovered what had happened, he made a way to cover up sin, and he set forth a plan yes, from that sir. day forward. That we Amen. But he lets us call on him. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I tell you what, listen to what the 26th verse here, matter of fact, let's look at verse 25. It says, and Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son and called his name Seth. For God, she said, have appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And to Seth, <clears throat> to him also, there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. And listen to this. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. Yeah. I tell you what, there is a world out there today that would love to sell you an idea that what we're doing here tonight doesn't it's work. Bullshit. I tell you what. There's a lot of folks that have no confidence yeah. uh, in religion. They've lost. They're discouraged. They're downhearted. And they're searching for peace outside those doors right. in any form or any fashion they find it. Some folks look for it in a bottle. Some folks look for it in a pill. But Bless I'm going to what. No matter what way anybody searches for it, God is still saying, where Amen. are you? Amen. God Amen. is still saying, where are you? Just yeah. like he said to Adam, yeah. where are you? Where are you? Yeah, He's coming looking for you. He's searching for you. But I'm going to tell you, this way of us calling upon the Lord is not new. Amen. Amen. Lord, we needed him, and thank God, he allowed man to call upon this Holy Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Yes. As a matter of fact, he requires us to Amen. call upon us. his holy name. Yes. There is no other name that has been given in earth, in earth, under earth, anywhere in heaven that whereby man shall be saved. Amen. 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 Now, if we go over to the book of Romans, and this is what's on our heart, church, and I tell you, uh, all this ties together when we consider what we've heard tonight. We think about how the Lord has set us to call upon Him. He's made no other way. He did not give it to the authority of any man or any organization to tell anybody, you're saved. That's uh, it. I tell you what, you can call and talk to Him on the phone. You can sit at the kitchen table. You can repeat a prayer. But until you call upon the Lord with all your heart, You'll never know. Amen. The book of Romans, and I tell you, when you consider this, we look at Romans for a minute, and these verses, uh, you know, we might stop and, and, and look at what it says in Romans and what the Lord says here in Matthew and just consider where we are tonight. But the book of Romans, and I know y'all all know this, and, and bless the world's heart, they use this Roman road so often, they'll sit down with folks and they'll read, and I'm going to read to you here in chapter 10. It says, verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Stop God, right I believe there. that. Yes, Amen. sir. I believe that. Bless you. That is the way. Yes. 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 He says, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Well, there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the right. same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon, upon him. Yeah. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. And I tell you, church, it has not changed. Amen. You can't see them saved. You can't teach them saved. You can't lead them into the ministry any other way. Man must call upon God. Amen. 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 What the Bible says, he, his ear is not dull. And his arm is not short that he can't save. Amen. Why would he create a way for us to come to him if it didn't work? I say it. I tell you what, it works every time. Amen. It works every time. Try it. Verse 13. Verse 
13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. I tell you yep. what, if there's ever been a verse that the world has embraced and that the religions of the world have embraced, and maybe even those that have sat down and counseled, and I tell you what, I believe in some good godly counseling. Matter of fact, that we need to be able to strengthen one another. I tell you, it's good. I can call my brethren yeah. on the phone and say, Brother, I need some help. I need some good old spiritual, good godly counsel. Amen. I what, when it comes down to the salvation of the soul, the only counselor is that one. Yes, Amen. 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 Yeah. His name is wonderful. Yeah. And counselor. Amen. That's right. And that's not a man. That's right. Paul said at the start of that chapter, and if we just go back and look at who what was on his heart and his mind in the tenth chapter we just read to you there, that first my verse, he said, Brethren, my heart to the prayer for Israel is what? That they might be saved. Yeah. That they might be saved. Yes. And he goes on down through those verses, and what we just read to you there, when he says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's true. Church, I believe that. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But now, if that's true, let's flip over to the chapter, uh, tenth chapter of Matthew. Go ahead. Uh, excuse me, the uh, seventh chapter of Matthew. And I just want us to consider a few verses. Because I tell you, the world, the world can take God's word and use it too. As a matter of fact, they, right. they sell these Bibles to everybody. That's right. There are people that climb up in stands and, and go from place to place. They've gone out. The Bible said all of them, not all of them have been sent. And I'm not here to criticize or to tell anybody what their job is in the Lord, but I'm here to tell you that you can't counsel someone to the Lord. Amen. You have to call upon the name of the Lord. Yes, sir. Bless you, Brother Chris. Paul said his heart's desire for Israel is that they would be saved. Amen. And he actually said those words there we just read to you, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeah. But Jesus himself said this in the seventh chapter of Matthew. Verse 21 not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yes, sir. Yeah. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. This is Jesus, he says, and then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Right, bless him, Lord. How is it that Paul could say, whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, but then Jesus says, not everyone that saith, Lord, Lord, will enter in. How is that so? I tell you what, yes, the Lord. world today would love to be able uh, to sell you, uh, to, to give you, if you'll just send a check or a donation or whatever, if you'll just pledge your name to whatever it might be, the world would love to give you the peace and comfort that it has to give you. But I am telling you that from the time that we read over there in the fourth chapter of Genesis, yes, yes. from the time that God had to take two coats of skins and cover the nakedness right. of, of Adam and Eve until this day, it has only been a way of faith. Amen. It has only Amen. been a way yes, where that man has had to humble his heart and call upon God. God. Amen. That's right. Right. Paul said, if you Whoever calls upon me shall be saved. Jesus says, not everybody that says, Lord, Lord, will be saved. Amen. And I tell you what, if you turn over, and brother, here's where you got all the scriptures. And it's just, it's, I, I tell you, I just start rejoicing. Let's close my Bible. Bless you, brother Lord, Chris. Lord, he's, he's over what, what's on my heart. Uh, let's go back to what you heard tonight in the training. It's in, uh, it's in uh, Corinthians chapter 12. God help him. And I tell you a verse. I don't know if you mark in your Bibles or not, but if you don't, just stick up. Uh, you might want to just stick a... Uh, uh, a tab there to go back to this because you talk about good, solid doctrine. Yeah. Bless you, yeah. Chris. First Corinthians chapter 12, and as I said, it was already read here tonight, and my heart just rejoiced. I just this is what's been on my heart. God help him. Verse 3 says this: Wherefore I give you to understand. That no man speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus a curse. Let's just let's just deal with that for a moment. I tell you what, if you know it once once you know the Lord's peace, once you've tasted and seen that He is good, you won't ever speak. I tell you what, Peter denied him. And that's that old flesh, because we're gonna have a battle in this flesh. Daily, I tell you yes, what, sir. you might say, Well, I wouldn't have done what Peter done. Have you ever gone a different direction when the Lord moved on your heart to speak a word? 
Or when, when the Lord said, go claim me in front of some, go, go over and testify of me yes, sir. to those that need you. And you said, Lord, I, I think I may just go this way. Well, I tell you what, I'll be the first one to raise my hand. Yes, sir. All of We've us. all sinned and come short. Yes. That that is within us, Paul said, it, it, he, had, he said, I had to die daily. Right, right, we right. have to die at this old flesh because right. this old flesh is going to desire to go against the spirit yes, and vice versa. The Amen. spirit's going to war against the flesh. But I tell you one thing, once you've tasted of the Lord to see that he is good, you will not in your heart call him a curse. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. No. You will not deny your Lord. Matter of fact, the Bible says he has sealed us. He has given us the earnest of his spirit and Jesus will not deny himself. Amen. 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 That's why you can't deny him. He Amen. will not deny himself. Amen. I tell you what, that old burning that's in your heart when you hear the gospel preached, or when it's taught in spirit and in truth, or when a good old song is sung in spirit and in truth, that is the Lord that has been settled down in your heart, Roll reminding you yes, of what it's inside of you. Amen. Amen. As a matter of fact, the Bible says it's, it flows from breast to breast. Yes, yeah. sir. Thank God. The scripture said, and it's come to our heart this morning, we know we've passed from death unto life. Why? Because we love the brethren. Yes, sir. Because you've got what's inside of you that's the same that's inside of me. Amen. I'll tell you what. Jesus will not witness against Amen. him. So he you will not call your Lord, your Lord and Savior a curse. You might turn and do something to make a shame and have to repent. Because I'm going to tell you, when Peter denied him three times, as a matter of fact, you read over there in the book of Luke, the, the one of the writers there, I believe it was Luke, it said Jesus turned and looked at Peter after he denied him that third time. And oh, what a look the Lord must have on his face. Yeah. And I wasn't there, and I'm not going to try to pretend you I pretend to say that I know how the Lord looked. But I tell you what, the Lord has had to look on me with disappointment. Yes, sir. He's had to look at me and say, mm, you denied me again. God help but us. I tell you what, down in my heart, I have never, ever, ever, and nor have I wanted to ever say that my Lord is cursed. Amen. Bless you, boy. That spirit that brought me to life that night in the old-fashioned altar is the same spirit that's in my heart right now. And Go it's in. the same one. That you have. Amen. Oh, yes, right. sir. Yes. Now, the latter part of this verse, <coughs> church, I tell you what, it just do to put a marker there because we, yes. when we see these things and when we, we scratch our heads sometimes and wonder, how can these things be? God help you. But Paul said, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but... By the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And there it is. Amen. I tell you what, that's why the Lord said, there will be many who say unto me, Lord, Lord, have we not done these things? And he said, I'll tell them, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. He didn't know. say, I knew you once. He said, I never knew you. I say it. Right. Yes, sir. That's it. You can't even say that Jesus is the Christ except it be by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Isn't that amazing? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> You might say, well, no, I can say it. Let me, here's a microphone, and let me hand it or pass it around. And you know what? With this mouth, could, we could pass that microphone around, and everybody in this building could say, Jesus is the Christ, with your lips. But Paul said, and what Jesus was talking about in Matthew, and what Paul was talking about in Romans is, you have to call upon the one that made you. Hey, you hey, have hey, to hey. call upon the one that that brings you to an altar of repentance Amen. with an old broken heart and a contrast. Amen. Spirit. Yes, sir. I tell you what, I've disappointed my parents. I've disappointed my friends. But you don't come to the altar because you're heartbroken over disappointed man. You come to the altar because the Lord said you must repent. Amen. Amen. He's winked at ignorance in times past, but the Bible says he has commanded all men everywhere. everywhere to repent. Yes, sir. Amen. There's no other way, church. I tell you, there's no other way. Amen. There's no other gospel. There's no other word. You can change the words of this book. And I go along with this old King James Version. And I Bless go along with it until I die. Amen. I'm not boasting, but I'm saying that was good enough. Yeah. Bless the Lord. Yeah. I'm just here to tell you, man has had to call on God. He made us to walk with him in the beginning. He made us to have peace with him at the beginning. Man didn't even know he was naked before his God. Yeah. And then he began to hide. Yeah. God help us. I tell you what.
tell you what, we'll try to hide from you. That's right. Uh, yeah. This world is trying to hide from you. Yeah, that's here. And matter of fact, the Bible says when he comes back that they will actually cry right. for the rocks and the mountains to fall upon them to hide them from his face. Right. But it's impossible to hide. That's right. Do you know the old evil spirits knew the Lord? That's right. James said, Thou believest in one God, thou doest well. The devils believe and yeah, tremble. tremble. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. The Lord over at Capernaum, there in one place, he went into the synagogue with his disciples as, as he was to do. He, he, he went from place to place. He actually went into the synagogue and was teaching. And there was one there that said, What has thou to do with us, thou Christ? Well, I know who you are. You're the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked that spirit and said, keep quiet. Bless you, Lord. you know what? The Lord, the Lord wouldn't even allow the devils to say who he was. You know why? Because they couldn't even say his name unless it be for the spirit. Amen. You know, I, I, when I, I read that uh, back some time ago, and I began to wonder, I thought, well, you know, uh, even Paul there, when Paul was called, he went over at Macedonia, and this was a verse that was on our heart this morning when he, uh, Paul uh, asked him to come over and help him. And, and he went over there and preached, and one got saved. And, and as they were going away, he turned and rebuked an old evil spirit in a young damsel. And, uh, you know, the evil spirits from place to place recognize the Lord. Yes, sir. Uh, the Lord cast the evil spirits out of a herd of, uh, out of a man and put them in a herd of swine. And even those old animals, just being nasty old hogs, wouldn't live with it inside of them. They went off down the yes, hill sir. and choked themselves to death. But I'm here to tell you, the devil knows who the Lord is. Yes, yeah. yeah. he does. I tell you what, we'll read over in the book of Revelation. The writer says, I know where Satan's seat is, too. Yeah, right. my house, right. And I've been sitting in it sometime, brother. God, I have. There have been times I've come into church as a young boy, unsaved. And I tell you what, you're going to belong to one or the other. You either belong to the one who made you, or you belong to the one who wants to use you for destruction. Amen. Right. Yes, sir. But I tell you what, isn't it good to know he's in the midst as well? Amen. He walks in the midst of his people. Amen. Amen. I tell you what. When we do profess it, isn't it wonderful? I tell you what, when, when, when the old man of God takes a stand and the word is preached and it's truth and it's power and it's demonstration and the church witnesses along with it, the Bible says, when Zion travails, Amen. Amen. sons and daughters are born. Amen. There's just one way. Yeah. We could stay here all night, Brother Johnson, but there'd still just be one way. Amen. We could go from chapter to chapter. We could go from Genesis to Revelation. There's still just going to be one way. Amen. Yes, Amen. sir. Ordained. That's right. And it was the way that was ordained from the beginning when man first fell. And I tell you what, we can look back through time, but men have been calling on the name of the Lord ever since then. Yes, sir. Amen. Go back and look at our forefathers, Abraham. The Bible says he built an altar there and called on the Lord. Amen. Amen. Noah. When the ark settled there on Mount Ararat, he, he, he took, he took uh, the clean beast and built an ark, uh, built a, an altar and called on the Amen. Lord. Yes, Amen. Sir. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, all of those yeah. called on the Lord. And I tell you what, if you're going to know him in the free part of the sin, and if you're going to look for him when he comes back in the eastern sky, there's going to have to be some place in your life free call that Lord. you bow down that you call upon the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, You're sir. not going to escape. That's right. From the first man, Adam, until the last man, or one more child, that's going to get called and that heart door get knocked upon, is still going to take coming to the Lord in humbleness of repentance Amen. and calling upon the Lord. I tell you what, you don't have to pray a prayer, do you? I thank God there's not a rehearsed prayer. There's not anything specific you have to say, and I appreciate what was shared already. He said in his, when he got saved, he may have just cried a little, didn't shout, didn't jump. I remember when I got saved, Sister Parker jumped up and shouted, and you know, I was just a young boy. But I, I remember that, I can hear that voice, and, and I, that comes to me so often, but I can hear her sweet little voice just as clear in my ears when she stood up and raised her hand and shouted. Amen. Hey, 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 yes. <laughs> I had to call upon the Lord. That's right. Just like from the time that God set this thing. Just, the Bible says that Jesus stood as a lamb slain Same. from the foundation of the world. Amen. And when man willingly fell from that holy and happy state, Jesus said, I'll go for it. Yes, sir. Right. Step and we 
in this generation and no other generation that, that, that is before us or even to come is going to get around Jesus. Amen. Amen. Right. You can't get around him. You can't get over him. The only thing you can do is just go through him. Amen. Amen. Yes, That's sir. all you can do. That's right. That's all you can do. I thank God that it is such a simple way. The Bible says it is so simple that man need not hear it. <laughs> it is so simple that even a child can understand That's it. it. The world has the world has so many things out there, and I tell you what, church, you know, here again, in the business we work in, in education, we want to get we want kids to get a good education. And that's true. I hope kids can read, write, and do math and get a good job and all. But here's what's really important is do you know the Lord? Hey, hey, man, yes, sir. Hey, do you know the Lord? Because reading and writing and arithmetic and all the learning that you can treasure up in this world will not save you from hell. God bless you, Brother Chris. There is nothing that man can do to save himself, and there's nothing that a man can do to save any other. We, in Jesus Christ alone, have to call upon the one who made us and the one who put us here to glorify him. And I tell you what, his desire is to bless us. His yes, desire sir, that's what he wants. His desire is for us to walk in unity with him again while we're down here. Yes, sir. Now, when we get over yonder, that's going to be a different walk. Yeah, yeah, praise God. We won't have to worry about that's right. the flesh. Part. Yes, sir. We won't have to worry about Monday morning, what we've got to face on the job. We we'll won't have to worry about the family issues. We'll just be at peace and at joy and in, in everlasting comfort. And I tell you what, I can't even imagine. The Bible says here we see through a glass darkly, but there, but then face clear. to face. I think hey, I'm glad that yes, face sir. Coming, that I'm going to get to see my Lord hey, face, face to face. To face. God bless you. I love my grandpa. I love y'all's y'all's family people. Yeah, there, there's no doubt we could go through the the pews right here and and number the people at y'all's church, just like at our home church, the ones that have gone on to their reward. May, many of them may be right out here. They may be buried in other places. I, I look forward to seeing them because the Bible says we'll know as we're not. Amen. And I tell you what, the Lord carried Peter, James, and John up on the Mount of Transfiguration, and they were transfigured before them, and they knew who they were. Yes, sir. <laughs> So I tell you what, there's going to be some rejoicing. That's going to be a reunion. Yes, sir. Amen. Bless you. But to just get to see the Lord. Amen. Everybody. Right. Everybody. Boy, that. God help Bless us. you, brother Chris. Uh, everybody. I know I mentioned he looked at Peter in disappointment, just like he's looked at me many times in my life. Never Peter said, Lord, no, I'll do this. I'll do. You know, in the flesh, we'll say, Lord, we'll do this. Lord, I'm going to do this. And the Lord has to turn and look at us. But don't you know, don't you know how sweet it would be just to look at our Savior's face? Yes, yes sir. When he actually can't say, well done. Yes, sir. Amen. Well done. My best of my abilities down here, church, is just, is just no, nothing compared. My righteousness is just nothing compared to his. But isn't it going to be something when we will be there? Eternal peace and joy. Correct. Not having to call on him as we've read here from Genesis over the road. Right. Because we'll be with you. Hey, hey man. Man. Yes, sir. Well, I tell you what. We've got some who could have a joy in our heart that we ought to want to share with this old world. And I tell you what. This old world don't even know how bad they need it. Yes, sir. that's right. This old world believes what they've got is good, good enough. enough. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you, I am convinced that no man can get settled on a lie or a deception or something that's short of Christ. I don't believe any man can get settled in their heart on something short of what God meant for it to be. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Yeah. You, might, you might convince yourself to take that as the truth. You might be okay with accepting a lie, Won't be but you will not have the peace and the comfort that you can lay your head Amen. until it dies, knowing that you know, that you know, Amen. beyond a shadow of a doubt. Right. I don't believe God will let you get settled on anything. No. If you're here tonight and you've got something short of Christ, just know this, you'll have to go to your grave knowing, you may not ever say it to anybody, but you'll have to go to your grave knowing that you took something less than what was offered to you. That's right. But know this, no man no man. The, the, these preacher brethren here, these good old deacons, your, your mamas, your grand, we could get the altar and pray with you. We could counsel you. We could read scriptures to you. 
We could hold your hand through the through the hard time, through the hard times, or whatever might come your way. But when it comes down to the salvation of the soul, no man, Paul said, no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. And I tell you what, we can't even preach it to the lost world Without but the by the Holy Ghost. Amen. The rest of Romans, there, I'm going to read to you, and then we'll close. God help you. But that the rest of Romans yeah. lays every bit of that out, <clears throat> church. This is, and, and brethren, this is us. It says, right. verse 14, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? But the scripture did not stop there. It says, and how shall they preach except they be sent? I tell you what, not, not mama called and daddy sent. I'm talking about when the Lord, just like you said, the Lord leads you in baptism, the Lord in this administration, this ministry here, the Lord pulls upon your heart. And draws you right back That's to the yes, Lord sir. says, now, I need you to go for me this way. Amen. Yeah. He puts every member in the body that pleases him. That's right. right. Yeah. The church. I tell you what, I, I, I sat here while I go and I looked at those old articles and I was listening to Brother Zach preach. Uh, uh, well, he may have been preaching. I don't know. Well, he's teaching the, uh, the articles. And I'm going to tell you this. I remember the night that as a deacon, I believe you were the one that Rick stood up there. And, and I sat on that front pew of that old church house. And you asked me every one of those articles, and you said, do you believe that? And I said, yes. The church has to send out men of God who will preach the doctrine Amen. that was once delivered to the saints. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Right. We can't invent something else. No. We sir. can't write something else. And those are statements that were pinned down back in the 1800s by J. Newton Brown, and they'll do. They've got scriptures that'll hold them up. But what you see in those, those articles of faith sorry, is right what the what the church is saying, saying here's the heart of what we offer. Amen. This is yes, what sir. the Lord wants you to know. Amen. Yeah. Not what the church wants you to know. This is what the Lord says. Go into all the world. God bless you. Amen. Amen. So God how bless. will they hear without a preacher? How shall they preach except they be sent? It, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of him to preach the gospel of peace. Oh, that's right. Great glad times and good things. I tell you what, these old men of God that have stood down through time, I know they've stood right here where I'm standing. They've stood in other uh, pulpits around this land and country. How beautiful. You know, back in the days there where the, uh, when men traveled from place to place, they wore them old sandals and they'd come into a place and, and the household servant would go and take a basin of water and wash their feet. God bless you, my friend. And you, you might say, and you know, you, oftentimes, you know, you ladies, you know, we may go and Go get a pedicure. Man, you might too. I don't know. I, but I'm just saying, the, the flesh, oftentimes, if we look at the flesh and we say, oh, that, somebody's fingernails or their feet, or it looks real nice. But that's not what Scripture's talking about. I tell you what. I wish I could have seen the sandals that our Lord wore. Yes, sir. In my heart, there's a spiritual vision of a pair of old wore out sandals that Jesus wore, and he walked from place to place for you and for me. Yes, sir. Amen. He went there preaching and teaching and casting out and healing. And he made one last trip to the cross where they took him off of him and pierced those feet. Amen. That's How right. beautiful. I tell you what. Old Thomas, old Thomas wasn't there when he showed himself the first time. He said, No, not unless I see. Not unless I see where that they pierced his hands. They see where that thrust into his side. The next time he was there, he said, Thomas, old Thomas just said, My Lord and my God. Amen. Amen. That's right. what he's beautiful. Amen. Amen. You might look at that old rugged cross and say, Oh, that's a that's a horrible thing. I tell you what. <laughs> it's the one thing that bought the purchase price of your salvation. Amen. 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 Yes, to me, that's beautiful. Yes, sir. Yeah. No man can say that he is Jesus but by the Holy Ghost. Amen. If you anything else tonight that you don't carry with you, consider that. Think on that. If, if all you have is a verbal testimony of the Lord, no. get down and desire and ask the Lord to open your heart. Because I tell you what, he's willing. He's Amen. Amen. But he will give you the ability to say, Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. That night he opened my heart. I don't even know when I prayed. But I know one thing. I had a testimony that was led by the Holy Ghost that I could say, Jesus is my Lord. Amen. And it was only by the Holy Ghost. And I was just as sure of that as anything else I've ever known in my life. Okay, Praise man. God still that way tonight. I hope you have that in your heart tonight. If you don't, I hope you're looking for that. And if you're not looking for that, I hope tonight 
that God will put up on your heart and begin to search. Right, he said, search happily if you might find him. He's not far. The Lord is not far. Matter of fact, he said the word is nigh thee. That's right. right. He's that close. Mm-hmm. Church, we love you. Brother Jonathan, we love you. We appreciate you. Sorry for you for you. But it's not about me. Church, it's about us, but it's about you. The gospel has gone out. That's right. What you do with it is what matters to just That's right. Everybody. Everybody. I beg of your prayers. You please pray for me as we go from place to place. I don't want to be anything. I don't want to name. I don't want to. I don't need. All I want to be is just a vessel. Amen. 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 Bless you, brother Chris. Bless you, brother Chris. And I tell you what. I just want him to fill me up. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Everybody. Preacher, we love you. Before God bless you. Come on, brother Don.